Hello and welcome to my toy corner. Today I am excited to share with you and to add to my collection Ash from the NECA 40th Anniversary Alien series here. This is questionably one of the most evil, in my opinion, and disturbing villains in the whole series. Partially because of Ian Holmes' character and his portrayal of it. Just, they really captured that evil look that he has in his eyes and the details on the severed head is just outstanding on this figure so i'm really excited to get him open and share it with everybody here that's it man game over game over man <laughs> now let's take a look at the accessories there is a ton of great uh movie scene prop accessories here that he comes with in addition to a couple arms right now i'm just gonna have ash chill back there with his i believe that's milk plus because he's about to go get a bit of the ultraviolet. So we got a few extra hands here. I believe that is the cutting tool that they used to try to get the face hugger off at one point. That uh, fourth, fifth piece, fifth piece in is, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the thing that Ripley uses to uh, restart the head. Uh, a couple of, uh, another prodding tool there, and then the Ripley attack scene. That's the magazine that he rolls up. Uh, for that attack scene. What a great attention to detail for this accessory. Then in addition to those, you've got, of course, that glass of milk that I mentioned, and then my personal favorite, the head. Unreal detail. That is, like, he's staring right at me. I'm waiting for him to say that he feels sorry for me. And they even went and... <laughs> Look at that. They've even got the little... Uh... I don't remember what those little creepy things were, but the little balls attached to the wires and cables that were underneath there. I remember the, seeing those as she was placing his head down before she, he started talking. So just a, just an incredible amount of detail there. This is definitely my favorite accessory. Very similar to the rest of the line. You've got the standard joints here. So you've got this segment, um, this, this segment, and then that segment. Again, you've got those interchangeable hands. Multiple options for those. And then very, very standard leg joints, although the I don't know why he would do the splits, but he's doing he's doing it pretty well. Um, I do like the way that the uniform lays out here with the the layover on the knee. It's almost seamless. You can barely even tell that there's a joint there unless you go really, really far back. It's just got an I think an amazing amount of uh, uh, consistency there with how smooth that transition is for that uniform so there's his butt got the detailed wrinkles in the back on the shirt and then we'll give you a little close-up of that scowl that he's got on his face that evil mean look and that's it all right so i'm going to lead you out with some photos that i took here as always thanks for watching